Hello online viewers, welcome to our lecture video. In this, in this lecture video, we are going to solve this problem related to stress and strain. We have already solved many problems related to stress and strain regarding the deflection of the bar, finding the elongation of the bar, whose uh, link you can find in the description box below. So right now we are going to solve this question and our question states that find the stresses produced in steel and copper wires when a load of 20 kN acts at free end find also the deflection at the free end so as you can see here is we have a fixed support over here and we have in this fixed support we have a force of 20 kN acting at the portion D similarly we have a copper wire at portion C and it is at a length of uh, length or at a distance of 40 mm uh, 40 mm away from this uh, away, away from this fixed support and at a portion b we have a steel wire which is at a distance of 250 mm away from this fixed support and we have uh, its distance as 200 mm the portion b is 200 mm away and the portion c is 300 mm away and the portion uh, d is 200 mm away from portion c so this is how our mm -hmm. figure is built next what we have is next what we have is we have our area of steel bar as a 400 mm square our area of copper bar is our area of copper bar is 600 mm square and our Young's modulus of elasticity for steel and copper bar are respectively 2 into the power 5 and 1.2 into the power 5 newton per mm square. So according to our question, we need to find our stresses produced in our steel and copper wire and also find the deflection at the free end. So what we're going to simply do is we're going to uh, redraw this figure over here. We're going to draw our figure in this way. So this is our portion A, this is our portion B, this is our portion C, and this is our portion D. So we have our 20 kN force acting downward. So our 20 newton force is acting downward. We are going to denote it as D dash. And what we have over here is we have our steel and copper bar at B and C. Since this 20 newton force is acting downward, the resistive force at B and C will be acting upward. So we have P S and P C. These are the resistive forces uh, produced in our uh, produced in our steel and copper wire. Uh, steel and copper wire. So let me write it over here. Uh, over here. Let the force or the let the resistive force let me i'm just writing force let the force in steel wire steel wire be ps similarly let the force in copper wire in copper wire be pc so we can simply use this uh, logic if the force of 20 kN is acting particularly downward the resistive force in order to maintain equilibrium for uh, equilibrium must act upward in our for our steel and copper wire and we're going to join in this way Went this way and let me draw this line downward and this is going to be our uh, deflection produced in our steel bar uh, we can write this portion as b dash uh, del s and del c and del d is our deflection produced at our free end so here our del dash indi indicates our uh, deflection produced for our steel steel portion uh, deflection uh, del c represents our deflection produced at uh, part c for our copper portion and del d is our deflection produced at the free end which you need to calculate so next what we are going to do is um, so as you can simply see, see over here, since this 20 kN force is acting downward, the deflection is definitely going to be produced downward. So del C, del S and del C are upward and our resistive force PS and PC are particularly upward. So next what we are going to do is we are going to use our condition of equilibrium. So what we are going to do is we are going to take our moment about A and we are going to take clockwise moment as positive and EMA equals to 0. So we are going to take our clockwise moment about A equals to 0. So what we are going to do is we have uh, so we are going to move from left to right. We have our PS. So PS is going to rotate anti-clockwise direction in this way direction with reference to A. Similarly PC is going to act in a anti-clockwise direction and our uh, 20 kN 20 kN force acting at our section D is going to act in clockwise direction clockwise direction and produce our clockwise moment so we have moment about a equals to zero and since we are taking clockwise moment at zero zero we have pc will be negative minus pc into the distance is 200 mm this much distance is 200 mm from section a which is 200 so this is our simple logic of equilibrium similarly we have pc this also will be negative into 200 plus 300 is 500 plus our uh, for our section uh, for our 20 kN, this is acting downward producing clockwise movement so it will be positive plus 20 into uh, 3 4 5 6 7 700 mm into 700 equals to 0 so on solving this we are going to get a uh, ps plus 2.5 pc equals to 70 into the power 3 we can solve this and we are going to get the same equation so i'm going to name this as my equation first 
what are going to do next is uh, so let me draw a line over here we are going to use the concept of similar triangles so now we are going to use uh, this figure and we are going to use our concept of similar triangles so what we have over here is we are going to use these two triangles we are going to use our triangle a b b dash and a c c dash as you can see here both these triangles are similar to each other so now from similar triangles uh, now from similar now from triangles a b b dash and a c c dash what we get is our uh, ratio of b b dash divided by c c dash since the uh, since since the ratio of corresponding sides of similar triangle are equal we are going to use that property we have a b we have uh, we have b b dash divided by c c dash equals to uh, it will be simply equal to a b divided by a c so we have used that property b b dash of triangle this divided by c c dash of this triangle divided by a b divided by a c of this triangle so using that concept we have uh, b b dash del s deflection of steel uh, deflection of steel wire uh, similarly we have c c dash which is our deflection of copper wire which is del c equals to a b which is our length which is equal to 200 uh, meter 200 millimeter divided by uh, AC which is equal to 500 millimeter so we are going to get this from this we are going to get del C equals to 2.5 del S so now for our deflection for copper wire we have our formula PL divided by AE PC LC divided by AC EC so this is equal to 2.5 times uh, PS LS divided by AS ES so PC means our resistive force for copper wire, LC means length of copper wire, AC means area of copper wire, EC means Young's modulus velocity of copper wire. Similarly, PS, LS, AS, ES have respective meanings for their steel wires. So what we are going to do next is we have PC. Uh, for our uh, PC, we, we don't have our value of PC. We have our LC which is length of copper wire which is 400 mm. So we are going to use that relation into 400 divided by uh, AC we have. so for our AC we have our AC as 600, 600 millimeter square from our question 600 into EC is 1.2 into the power 5 this will be equal to 2.5 uh, PS into LS is uh, 250 mm length of steel wire is 250 divided by our value of AS from our question is 400 millimeter square which is our area of steel wire into ES is 2 into the power 5 so on solving this we are going to get our relation as PC equals to 1.408 PS so this is going to be our equation second so we already have our equation first over here we are going to substitute the value of PC as 1.408 PS in equation number 1 so we are going to get as PS plus 2.5 into PC which is 1.408 PS this will be simply equal to 17 into power 3 on solving this we are going to get our value of PS so our value of PS will be simply equal to uh, 15.486 kN similarly our value of PC will be simply equal to uh, will be our PC is 1.408 into PS so our value of PC will be simply equal to uh, 21.804 kN so on substituting our value of uh, substituting our equation 2 in equation number 1 we are going to get our value of PS as 15.486 kN and we are going to get our value of PC uh, PC which is 1.408 uh, times PS as 21.804 kN so what our question is asking us next is we need to find our stress stress producing steel and copper wire in order to find our stress what we are going to do is we are going to write our formula for stress we have stress in copper wire stress in steel bar so steel uh, stress in steel wire which note as del s so will be simply equal to ps divided by as we have our value of ps as a 15.486 kN divided by our value of as is 400 and on solving this we are going to get our value of del s stress in steel wire uh, we are going to get this value as 38.38.715 38 newton per mm square so this is so I'm going to write it on one person so that it becomes clear to understand. Similarly, for our stress in copper wire, stress in copper wire, 
uh, del C this will be simply equal to PC divided by AC and our value of PC is 21.804 kN divided by our value of AC is 600 so this will be equal to uh, 36.34 Newton so you can multiply uh, this by uh, this by into 10 to the power 3 to convert kN into, into Newton you can do this for as well and you're going to get our answer in Newton per millimeter square so next what we're going to do is we need to find our uh, deflection at the free end which is del D so before finding our deflection and fre uh, at uh, free end we're going to find our deflection for steel and copper wire we have our del S so we have our del S so I'm going to calculate it over here only we have our del S for our steel wire this will be equal to PS LS divided by AS ES as I explained before our uh, deflection will be equal to PL divided by AE so PS AS divided by now we have our value of PS as uh, P, uh, PS by AS so we have our PS by AS value we can directly write this value or we can add our value of PS as 15.486 kN into the power 3 into our value of LS is uh, we have our value of uh, LS uh, for length of steel is 250 mm divided by AS is 400 mm square into our ES is uh, ES is 2 into the power 5 on solving this we are going to get our value of del S which is for our which is which means the deflection for our steel wire our del S will be simply equal to 0 0.048 mm next what we are going to uh, do is we are going to find our deflection for our copper wire which is del C which will be simply equal to PC LC divided by AC EC your PC means uh, PC means our resistive force for copper wire, EC LC means length of our copper wire, AC and EC means our area and Young's modulus of elast elasticity of copper wire. We have value of PC as uh, 15.486. Uh, sorry, we have value of PC as we have our value of PC as 21.804 convert into Newton by multiplying it by 10 to the power 3. We have our value of LC uh, LC as LC uh, for length of our copper wire is 400 millimeter 400 divided by AC 600 into EC we have EC as 1.2 into the power 5 on solving this we are going to value we are going to get del C which is our deflection for copper wire as 0 0.121 mm so now finally our question has asked us to find our deflection at the free end so how are, how are we going to find deflection at the free end so let me find over right over here so let me so just to make this clear I'm going to write it using my red deflection at free end so deflection at free end we are going to use our similar triangle a b b dash and a d d dash so what we have over here is uh, we are going to use a b divided by a d will be equal to b b dash divided by d d dash using our concept of similar triangle for a b b dash and a d d dash we have our portion a b length a b as uh, length a b as 200 divided by our a d which is our total length which is uh, 200 plus 300 plus 200 which is 3 4 5 6 700 mm this will be equal to b b dash which is del s and we have our calculated our del s value as 0 0.0048 our b b dash is del s but our value of del S is calculated as 0 0.048 mm so I'm going to write this as 0 0.048 divided by D dash which is our total deflection del D so on solving this we are going to get our uh, value for our del D as therefore del D will be simply equal to uh, will be equal to 700 into 0 point, uh, 0 0.0048 divided by 200 uh, which is equal to 0 0.168 mm so in this way by using the concept of similar triangle we are going to find our deflection at the free end as well so in this way we can uh, solve this question if you have any queries uh, you can comment down below and if you uh, you can comment uh, down below and if you like our content do subscribe the channel it will uh, motivate me to upload more videos thank you